Hey guys, I thought I would just do a Sam's Club haul. I made a very big haul today, so I was excited to just kind of lay out everything I got, and I thought maybe you guys would like to see it too. So, I will start over here with drinks. Um, those are my husband's right there. I got me these fancy LaCroix. They just looked interesting and I don't like to drink alcohol during the week so it's nice to have something kind of bubbly. I got these K-Cups. They were on sale for like 24 bucks compared to all the other ones that were like 36. I was like, uh, I'll try those. And then these are like those trays that, um, I don't know, my husband uses these when he barbecues and we were out. And then here's like the non-keto, non-low-carb things that are um, my family's. They're my husband and my daughter are not low-carb. And this is mostly my daughter's though. She loves to have ramen on lazy on your own nights. Um, bread for both of them. Um, she was low on cereal. She doesn't eat cereal that much these days, but I just needed some on hand. And these macaroni and cheese cups are just very convenient in a pinch. And she loves goldfish. I have to like monitor it and keep it up on the fridge or she'll go through that fast. Otherwise these stick around for definitely a few months. And then I know these are considered keto to some or low carb to some, but um, my daughter loves raspberries. So I picked those up for her. I thought maybe I would have some strawberries and cream one night. Sounded good. And my daughter also loves strawberries. And then I got these avocado packs. They're really affordable, like four, a little over $4 at Sam's. So I grabbed two, one that's more ripe and one that's really not ripe. And uh, you can keep avocados in the fridge once they're ripe for a really long time. So cool tip. And asparagus was on sale for like $3 something. I got these spiral uh, veggie noodles just for like spaghetti night one night. I love spaghetti and um, you'll see why I need to make use of stuff like this in a minute um i got this coleslaw this is like barely over a dollar at sam's and it's it lasts a long time and you can just do so many things with it and the romaine i got this avocado oil last time i looked they didn't have any so i was really excited that they're carrying this now for you know pan frying and I got some minced garlic because um, I'm just too lazy to peel garlic these days. I'm very busy, <laughs> so why not? And I got this big blue cheese um, in bulk because I go through a lot of blue cheese and it's very expensive in the little ones, so it was a good deal. These are for my husband. He really likes those for work. I got a half and half uh, for coffee and cooking. It's just good to have on hand. So this is why I plan on making more spaghetti dishes. So I got a ton of ground beef here. Uh, it was 27 bucks and we will probably end up, I don't know, like, you know, packaging it and we can probably get five or six servings out of this. Like not even servings, like six dinners out of this. So it's a really good deal. And I got the sirloin frozen beef patties and they're 85 percent they had the 80 but i just feel like the fat just disappears and they shrink so i'm gonna try the 85 percent and see if that helps and then i got these beautiful ribeyes here for 45 bucks and usually we'll just me and my husband will share one because i'll just make a big salad and um yeah they'll last us a while that is some tuna. I have it upside down because somehow along the way I lost a can or I grabbed one that was missing a can. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I got those for my daughter. They're nice little water bottles for school. I got a huge Truvia box. I use Truvia in my coffee and my tea. I just love it. And this is an awesome, awesome dishwasher. Sorry, excuse me dishwasher detergent like those little tablets and they last forever ever ever it's like 14 bucks really recommend um i got these for my husband's lunchbox they are just like jerky i can't really tell beef steak i don't know they looked good and then i got the dukes also for him and for me maybe if uh, i don't really snack but if i did i would grab something like this and here's some lunch meat for my husband's sandwiches 
and two packs of 24 eggs. They are the members mark cage free. So they were actually just a little over $3, which was to me a really good deal. So I grabbed two. We have backyard chicken eggs, but they have just two and they're not keeping up with how much eggs I'm eating these days. So that's the more food items. Um, and then I got some bedding, which was really good deal at Sam's. I highly recommend if you're needing to, so like this twin mattress topper was like 19 bucks and the full size was like 24. I don't remember quite what I paid for this bed spread, but it was in the 20 ish dollar range, maybe 24, I believe. And then these sheets were also like 19, 20 bucks. And my daughter needs a new bath mat. So that is my Sam's Club haul. It was a little pricey, but we had to stock up on some things that just are kind of pricey anyway. And I have a ton of meat in my freezer. Um, I'll show you guys right now, actually. Okay, so this is my like meat freezer. <laughs> there is some kind of like junky things over here. So this is what I call like my meat freezer. There's some, you know, we do have some kind of junky foods here and there, but this is like jam packed with meat. I know it's hard to see, but I I stock up on like big chickens that are really cheap. That's a four dollar ninety five chicken. Um, I've got a ton of thighs down there. Here's some broccoli. This is like chicken nuggets for my daughter. Another big chicken. I'm kind of embarrassed because I have not organized this thing well. But I've got steaks in here. Bacon, more steak. <laughs> There's some like frozen pieces, but so I have a lot of chicken to get through in particular, especially these whole chickens, which you can do a lot this with. This is a, I have a, another fridge and freezer in the garage, but it's kind of sparse. But there's more meat, fish, beef bones, another whole chicken, uh, lots of frozen vegetables, some frozen fruits, things like that. So we're pretty stocked on just more everyday stuff. But yeah, we had to stock up on a lot of these like big bulk things. So this is my haul. And if you guys enjoy this kind of low carb keto content with, you know, a not low carb keto family, just kind of re very realistic, I think average family kind of content. If you could like and subscribe and I will keep posting. Thanks guys. Okay, guys, I got a perfect keto order. And I'm really excited. I'm going to pull it all out and show you guys. Okay, guys. So this is what I got. It was a little pricey. I think I paid 120 bucks. I used um, on Christy Davis's channel. She has a really good promo. I don't know if it's still going on, but it was buy five items, get 35% off. So that's what I did. And I got these keto cookies, chocolate chip. Sometimes I just like to start with real basic flavors and kind of work up and then I got these keto bars chocolate chip cookie dough and these almond butter brownie bars too and then I got this pre-workout linen lemon flavor sometimes I just I work out too late after my coffee and I'm just kind of tired and then some electrolytes I'm drinking Dr. Berg's right now it tastes okay and I thought maybe I'd try this too so Really excited to try these. Um, it's just nice to have things on hand sometimes. Okay guys, so it is 2 p.m. and I'm gonna break my fast with this stack of chaffles here. I just basically whisked together two eggs. I put in a half a cup of shredded cheese, which I chop up a little finer. And then I add about two to three tablespoons of almond flour, a little dash of cinnamon, and then I just bake in my little mini waffle maker here and I add just real butter which I keep on at room temperature and then I top with this sugar-free syrup and then I'm gonna have three of these uh, chicken and maple breakfast sausages they're really good um, they do have two grams of carbs but they're worth it they're good so this is my breakfast lunch and I will most likely not even be hungry till dinner, but I will film if I do. This is ribeye steak with a kind of 
kind of zucchini noodle veggie nest, so with mixed veggies and a homemade Alfredo sauce. And then this day, guys, I also had one of these perfect keto chocolate chip cookie dough bars. Um, it's kind of high in calories, but very low in carbs. It's not very sweet either, so I like them because it's not like you just want to like eat a bunch of them. Like they're okay. I'd give it like a 6 out of 10 on taste, but it's one of those bars that just gets better as you eat it. It's kind of weird. And then I had a little bit of this Lily's chocolate at the end of the night. This is so good. I'm not even like a big peppermint fan or white chocolate fan, but wow, this, this is really, really, really good. Highly, highly recommend. I think it's seasonal though. My sister gave it to me. It was in her chocolate stash, so probably have to wait till Christmas, but that's what I ate guys. Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you my grocery trip from United, which is a, basically a grocery store that's like Safeway. They're owned by Safeway. Um, I had to get a few things that I didn't end up picking up at Sam's Club, and I decided to do a stock up of just keto friendly treats, and then there's a few things that are for my family that are not keto. But I grabbed these two keto um, Catalina Crunch cereals because Yesterday, I, you know, I had drank a little bit too much this weekend and I woke up just craving carbs and like cereal in particular and I was so close to going after my daughter's um, cinnamon toast crunch cereal. I did not, but I just, I wanted to have something like this on hand if that ever were to happen again. And then I got all these Lily's chocolate bars because now that my sister had given me one, I'm hooked. And I want to try some different flavors. So I actually do prefer milk chocolate over dark, dark chocolate. But I grabbed a dark chocolate here. And then I'm going to try this just creamy milk chocolate. That sounds delicious. A salted caramel and salted almonds. And then I love their chocolate chips. I like to put those in my chaffles. And then I was craving ice cream too the past weekend and I had nothing obviously. So I'm going to try these two brands, the Rebel and the Enlightened. And these are just like my go-to flavors with all ice cream. So I thought I would start with those and we'll see how they are. And it'll be just nice to have that in the fridge. Oh, and I also grabbed these cookie dough bites. They sounded interesting. And I sometimes just like a bar at the end of the night. Um, soy milk for my daughter and then I'm gonna try this creamy cashew milk and there was a good deal on this Parmesan cheese it was like two for four and then I use this in my chaffles so I'm kind of going through mozzarella kind of fast and just some condiment things I didn't want to buy in bulk I didn't love what Sam's options were so instead of Frank's hot sauce we've been doing this mild buffalo wing sauce and there's only one gram of carbs in it. It's really good. And they didn't have La Victoria, which is my favorite green salsa. But this one's really good. It's actually really spicy, but it's just super flavorful. And then a big old ranch and ketchup for my family. I'm not a ketchup person. I don't really like it, but I got them that. And then I love this olive oil. <laughs> Sorry, it's upside down. Olive oil mayo. And then I got this for my daughter and my husband. They also like a bar at the end of the night sometimes. And so I got them a big pack of those. My husband likes creamers. So I got him hazelnuts. And then Earth Balance for my daughter because she does not digest butter. And she's just, she's very dairy sensitive. So I always have to get her her own. But this was $110 for this like big old stash of just goodies and treats. Like I said, I would just rather have this stuff then not because I'm actually one of those people who won't really eat it if it's in the house. It sounds weird, but like if I don't have something in the house, that's when I just want to like go out and like let's just go get food or get treats or whatever. So if I have it in the house, it just makes me feel like it's there if I want it. And if, if it's, you know, if I don't want it, it's not a big deal. But also it's just fun to try new things and I like to support brands that are, you know, doing low carb low sugar things for people so i will probably do a review thanks for watching guys bye hey guys so thanks for watching my grocery hauls i think i snuck a little what i eat in a day in there um 
I know in my prior videos, like, I'm not really sure if I want to talk about keto, blah, 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 but I just really feel like I want to share my authentic life with you guys. Like, why else would I do this, <laughs> this YouTube thing? Um, so please leave any questions you have below. I have lost since September, I have lost about 23 pounds, but I've done three different diets, ways of eating. Um, but I am losing weight way faster now with low carb keto. I have lost about six pounds in three weeks versus when I did a vegan starch solution cleanse, I lost about 10, 12 pounds in almost four months. So, but there is one thing I've been consistent with the entire time and that is intermittent fasting. It has kept me going down even when it was really slow. I would either stay the same or just lose a pound once every week or two weeks but now with the low carb and intermittent fasting it's going down much faster i feel much better i feel more clear-headed and i have a ton of stuff going on with school as you guys have heard or i've told y'all i got into nursing school and i've been taking pre-nursing classes a semester and it's just it's very difficult and i need to not need to eat a lot I need to go long bouts without eating and not thinking about food and not think feeling hungry and this is working best for me. I've done this before. I've done this many times, but it feels different this time. I'm keeping it simple. Just keep it simple. Don't look at recipes all day. Don't get too hung up on the future. Sometimes with my patients working in a mental health ER, they get so far down the line that it just stops people from even taking a step. So don't worry too much about the future. Worry about what is the next step? What is the next moment? What is the next thing I need to do? So living very much in the present, I have found has helped me lose weight so much easier. Um, I'm weighing in at 146 right now. A lot of my previous videos I was in the 160s, 150s, so that things are definitely different now. So if you like this content, please give me a like and a subscribe, and I will check in with you guys later. Thanks, bye.